Hi guys, so this is going to be my last video video and I wanted to do a flip through of my bullet journal. I actually filmed, uh, set up my March bullet journal with me, but that ended up just not working out because I don't have a laptop to edit on right now and editing on the phone was being really difficult. So here we go. I got this book from Jenny who bought it in Australia for me and I've already planned it out so I'm just going to show you guys what's in it. So there's a magnetic clasp here and when you open it, Jenny wrote a letter from me there. This is the first page. It says Norish because this is my word of 2018. Norish myself, Norish myself um, with food, with good people, with love. And the second page are my year's resolution. The first is to advance professionally, learn to stay put, play drums, learn Spanish, and to run a marathon. And I put a washi tape here as well as this, just because it's so easy and fast to make it look good. And the third is the title page for March. And this is my mood tracker. So if I'm happy, it'll be yellow. And if I'm really not happy or sad or angry, It'll be purple and from somewhere in the middle, it'll be one of these colors. And I'll fill in the petals as we go along. And I kind of fucked up in these two places because I overestimated how much space there were left. But I'm interested to see how my mood is throughout March. So the next page is my expenses. I really want to start again, um, just knowing where the money goes and how I spend it. So. I want to see how this page looks at, like at the end of the month. And then this is the habit tracker. If I were to do this again, I would not do it like this. I would just label each line one to 31 here and then put the habits up here and then have it be like this. But I wanted to do it like this and it was a big mistake because it looks messy and really weird but the four habits that i'm tracking in march are whether i leave the apartment or not how many hours of sleep i get and if i made my bed and whether or not i exercised and next up we have a weekly layout this is the week of march 1st so today is wednesday february 28th and tomorrow is march 1 thursday and this is really helpful for me because it's a schedule and I know where I have to be at different times. And not only that, um, if someone is asking me to do something for them or be at a meeting, I can look at this and see visually how it is. And putting it down for a meeting and stuff lets me know how much stuff I have to do. So weekly layouts I've been doing for quite a while through February and it's really working out well and I like it a lot and next up we have a video idea page this can be just a list of video ideas or a brainstorm page for a video i'm leaving this here and i'm going to be using this washi tape as a bookmark for every single video idea page so that i can spot them easily and next up this is my task list I have here my five classes that I'm taking and each task will start with a dot and if I don't complete them, I'll put an arrow to move it to next week and if I do complete them, I'll exit and if I decide to abandon them, I'll put a line throughout it. And so these are my classes and this is just extracurricular, my YouTube volleyball, my Rohingya fundraising, soccer and Quidditch team and practicum which I'm doing on the side and that is it so thank you so much for watching this is the last video of Vedif um, I'm really sorry I wanted it to be a better video but it didn't work out so I'm making do thank you so much for watching please like subscribe and comment something if you want bye I'll see you next month <gasps>